Hey, hi, and hello. Welcome back to the channel today. I'm excited to have you here for a video that I've wanted to do for a little while, but I never really kind of knew how to put it together or say it or whatever. And then I sat down this week and I planned it out and I finally gotten it. So here it is, my top or biggest mistakes that I've made as a Twitch streamer when I was starting out and in my kind of initial year or two as a streamer. So with no further ado, let's get it started. Okay, so my first mistake that I have listed out for this video is one that I think a lot of people make and have a habit of doing. It's streaming seven days a week or every single chance and moment that I got to. For the first year, year and a half, even after I got my computer and whatnot, I was still having a habit of streaming seven days a week or any single chance that I got the opportunity to do so. Many of you may not know, but I started streaming when I was in high school, which was years and years ago now. So I was quite busy outside of stream, having classes and having homework, assignments and such like that. But whenever I got downtime, I always thought, oh, okay, I'm going to stream. I've got a moment to be on camera. Let's go be on camera. And while that might not be the worst idea in the world on face value, learning the actual effects that it has on people nowadays and what I could have potentially been doing back then instead of being live 24-7 is certainly putting it as a top level mistake that I made. Giving yourself a day or two off, I now take two days off a week. I stream five nights a week now, Thursdays to Mondays on Twitch. There's a link in the description if you want to come check out. I have time to do my university degree that I'm now doing. I have time for my personal life and I have time for me. I have time outside. I have set boundaries for myself. Okay, don't work between these hours. Don't stream between these hours don't stream much later than this and I'm a much happier person and the quality of my streams has gone up immensely. My next mistake was also one that I think people make quite often and it is that thinking the gear, the computer, the monitors, the keyboard, the camera you have would equate to success. I'm sure there are probably, if you're a streamer and you're watching this video, you probably can relate to this one a little bit because you see the streamers at the top before you start streaming and you see them doing the things that they do with really badass computers and amazing looking setups and you go, not only do I want that, but I think I need that to succeed. I'm here to tell you, no, you don't. <laughs> Not at all. I started streaming off of my PlayStation 4, streaming Call of Duty and GTA with my friends, and, and that worked out for a little while. And then I eventually saved up the money for a capture card and streamed off of my laptop that I had for school at the time and then made the move to a PC. But the one thing I think I wish I had done is appreciated the time that I had spent at the lower stages of streaming. You know, appreciating that time that I spent on the PlayStation 4 and maybe work on making my PlayStation 4 streams just that little bit better as opposed to going the full next hurdle of, of streaming from a laptop. Making potentially smaller chips at it instead of huge things overnight when there was no kind of justification for doing that. Don't get me wrong, I, I love this setup that I have and it's my favorite thing in the world, but setup does not equal success. It's how you use it. I swear to God, if someone makes a joke in the comments about that, uh, mm. So now I've explained the mistakes that I made that were a little bit more common. These are the mistakes that are not as common that I've made that I don't see a lot of other people talking about. One mistake that I made was thinking that Twitch was the end all be all of content creation, that I would want to go absolutely no further than creating content on Twitch. I wanted to be live six, seven nights a week on Twitch and stream on Twitch for Ever. Now, if you look at me right now, I'm sitting here in front of a camera, a microphone, a full lighting rig, making a YouTube video about my mistakes about streaming. Five, six years ago, when I started off my PlayStation 4, I would have told myself in five or six years, I'm going to be streaming full time on Twitch by then. That's not the case at all. <laughs> While yes, Twitch is my main platform as such, it is certainly not the end all goal of my content realm anymore. My goal as a content creator now is to create the best possible content on whatever platform that may be, whether it be YouTube, whether it be Instagram, Twitch, Twitter, TikTok, whatever it be, I want to be creating amazing content on each and every one of those platforms. Now with the understanding that we have of what happened to Mixer years ago, and that potentially could happen to a platform like YouTube or Twitch, being on one platform nowadays and having that be your end goal isn't really workable, or it's not workable for me. If you make it work, that's fantastic, but it's not at all workable for me. And that is certainly a mistake that I made, thinking that I would be able to get away with just being on Twitch. Leading 
moving on from that last point about having Twitch as my end goal, my next mistake is not branching out soon enough. I've had a Twitter account since I begun streaming way back when. I didn't really use it way back when, but I've had a Twitter account for my stream since I first started streaming because Twitter's cool. A little toxic at times, but that's beside the point. I didn't make an Instagram account until 2018. I didn't bother to make a YouTube channel and create original YouTube content until 2020. And even when I did make those, I wasn't posting content consistently on them. Nowadays, we understand, like I mentioned a moment ago with the Mixer situation, where Mixer just shut down out of the blue with a month's notice, that if Twitch was to shut down tomorrow when I hadn't had any other platforms built up with a following where my audience was, I, I was going to have have to do something else i was gonna have to either work at building a whole new platform again or go out and quit streaming and go and just live a normal life branching out in the last year or so to be able to do more stuff in twi in just beyond twitch has opened me up to a world of possibilities that i never knew possible and i wish i had done it years ago because i had the knowledge years ago and the ideas years ago i just didn't put them into practice so this is your reminder in this video right now that you're watching that if you have an idea that you think is really good go and execute it don't sit on it don't be like me this next one's kind of obvious but it doesn't really get kind of talked about a lot i when i wrote it down literally on on my notes on my phone i i wrote the words and i'm going to read it quote for quote Half-assed efforts get half-assed results. Call me freaking Einstein with that line or something, I swear. But it's true though. As obvious as it may be, it doesn't get talked about kind of a lot. If you're only putting in 10% of your energy into your stream, you're only going to get at the maximum 10% back. This is not me saying go and expend all of your energy into your stream. God, no, absolutely not. But if you're going to do something, do it right. Don't just do it for the sake of doing it and go, oh yeah, I'll do it and just to submit it and get it done. No, do it with every fiber of your being and work on it hard and you'll get a much more satisfied end result. I found that recently too. I would half-ass graphics for my streams. I would half-ass YouTube videos originally when I was posting YouTube videos that you can't see anymore because I wouldn't give it a hundred percent. And that might be shocking if you know me nowadays because I give everything 110%. This is kind of a reminder that it's not too late to change it if you're in that habit. If you're in that habit of half-assing things or not giving everything 100%, it's not too late and it's never ever gonna be too late to change it. And my final mistake is a big one. It is a big, big, big one that I think needs to be talked about more in the streaming space and that more streamers need to hear. So you ready? Brace yourself for it, okay? Putting other people ahead of yourself, your content and your well-being. This is a big one, as, as I said, it, it's a huge one to unpack, so I'm going to explain what I mean behind it a little bit. When I was starting out and, you know, I would always, you know, read online how to be the best streamer, you know, watching stream tip videos and such, they'd always emphasize the point of networking. But in this process, they don't ever kind of acknowledge the negatives that come as a result of networking because don't get me wrong i was interested in making friends and, and everything of that kind of nature and just you know getting genuine connections on the platform and i did get a lot of that however sometimes when you get into that habit of not putting yourselves boundaries of not giving yourself a boundary to say enough's enough i'm not looking after myself here i'm looking too much after other people and i'm not even caring for myself I end my stream every single night nowadays because it's true and I say make sure you're looking after yourself because you can't look after other people if you're not looking after yourself. And this is true because that's me. That's literally what happened to me. And I'm sure that there are going to be a lot of other people that can relate to me when I say that. The whole networking is key, collaborating is key, is, is yes, it is true, it rings true, it is important. However, what you need to be doing and ensuring that you're doing is setting yourself boundaries and limits to make sure that you're looking after yourself and that you're not putting everybody else ahead of you and making yourself suffer. If you're making yourself suffer, your content's going to suck as a result. I found out the hard way, and now look at me. All right, so that's going to do me for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. It was nice. It was a nice video to kind of talk about the mistakes I've made. I made this video with the purpose to kind of inform other people who might be making mistakes, and, you know, my audience as well, the mistakes that I made, and kind of, you know, 
put it put it into a format where you could actually kind of you know understand <laughs> what i'm meaning thank you so much for watching this video i hope you really enjoyed it if you enjoyed it give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing for all the content that i have future planned i hope you have an amazing rest of your time zone and until next time bye bye